flight attendant therapy. I am Tobias, and this is my so-called white girl look. The reason I did this is because, just a recap on Tiger Woods' incidents with his wife. If you knew that you wanted to sleep around with other people, why in the hell would you get married? Number one. Number two, why would you procreate? Because we already have enough cheaters in the world. All you have to do is go to channel 13 at 3 o'clock every day and you can see cheaters. People getting caught every day on cheating incidents or infidelity or whatever you may have it. Okay, just as I suspected, Tiger Woods was cheating on his wife as the previous episode. Now, allegedly, three more women have come forward. There's a beautiful young lady named Rachel you chettle, she um, has had a relationship with Tiger Woods for over, 30, over three years. She's a 34-year-old cocktail waitress, and also, formerly, she was involved with a guy from Bones. Um, his name is David Boren Borenas, whatever his name is. And the wife was pregnant. But anyway, the other thing is that this other beautiful young lady came forward. Her name is Jamie Grudge, Grubbs. She came forward, then slightly after that, then Kalika McGowan, McGowan, she came forward. Okay, Tiger, here is your official warning. Ooh, I like my hair. Ooh, how y'all like my hair? Ooh, it's just flowing, got the layers going on. But anyway, Tiger Woods, I have a surprise for you. This is what your wife, the Norwegian crazy chick needs to do instead of busting your back window out with a golf club. This is what she needs to do. Okay, let me see. I'll pull my hair all to one side. I'll get it all to one side. And then I'll say, sweetie, come on in here. It's time to eat. I have my Worcestershire sauce. Mm -hmm. Then I have my salt. I have my pepper for a little spice. And then, for the little spicy in it, I'll have my Cajun McCormick spice. Then, I will chop, then I'll put it on this skewer, okay? That will teach you not to cheat on anybody else. Men, guys, be put on notice. If you have to cheat, don't commit to someone and knowing that you cannot fulfill your obligations is for us in a relationship unless you talk about it. Why would you drag someone through the mud knowing for a fact that you do not want to continuously be involved with one person because people are crazy and they will hurt you. You can get hurt. I see it all the time on, on cheaters. People get hurt in the process. Children get neglected in the process. So there you had it. If you don't want to be in a committed relationship, then don't commit. All right. Welcome to Flight Attendant Therapy. Once again, I am Tobias. Have a fabulous day and fly safe. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Tell your friends, baby, how you doing?